Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the causes and symptoms of the bacterial diseases salmonella food poisoning and gonorrhea. Now both of these diseases are communicable, in other words they're passed from person to person by a pathogen. And remember that a pathogen is a microorganism that causes an infectious disease. Now one key fact that you need to learn is that unlike viruses, bacteria can be killed by antibiotics. We're going to look at those in later videos. So let's start by looking at salmonella food poisoning. I'm showing you the bacteria that cause this disease here. Now the bacteria that cause salmonella food poisoning are spread by ingesting infected food. And the word ingesting means eating. So this is the kind of food that's prepared in unhygienic conditions. For example, if we use the same chopping board for raw chicken and then for other food without cleaning it in between. The salmonella bacteria secrete harmful chemicals called toxins. These cause the symptoms of salmonella. These symptoms include a fever, abdominal cramps, vomiting and diarrhea. Now salmonella bacteria are sometimes found in poultry such as chicken. However, in the UK all chicken are vaccinated against salmonella and this controls the spread of the disease. Ok, we're going to look now at another bacterial disease and this is called gonorrhea. Gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted disease or STD. In other words, it's transmitted by sexual intercourse. Now the symptoms include a thick yellow or green discharge from the penis or the vagina. Another symptom is pain when urinating. Now as we said, gonorrhea is a bacterial disease. In the past, gonorrhea was easily treated using the antibiotic penicillin. However, antibiotic resistant strains of bacteria are now common. And we're going to look at antibiotic resistance in a later video. So nowadays, different antibiotics are used to treat gonorrhea. Now we can stop the spread of gonorrhea in two main ways. Firstly, using a condom during sexual intercourse stops the bacteria passing from person to person. Secondly, people who have unprotected sex should be tested for gonorrhea. They can then be treated with antibiotics to kill the bacteria before they pass it on to another person. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on bacterial diseases in my vision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Ok, so hopefully now you should be able to describe the causes and symptoms of the bacterial diseases salmonella food poisoning and gonorrhea. 